Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to the third annual 13 Nights of Fright. This is night number two and we're talking about 2014's Life After Bath. This is a A24 film. I know there are a lot of people that really love A24 movies. I kind of fall within the mist of it like I don't really love it but I don't hate it either. Now I do have an A24 like ranking list on my letterbox so if you'd like to see kind of generally where exactly this falls you can check it out there. Uh, now this movie is about Audrey Plaza's Beth who ends up dying. Her parents and her boyfriend, her parents are played by uh, Molly Shannon and uh, John C. Riley, who are really trying to cope with the death, the untimely death of Beth. And Beth's boyfriend Zach ends up forming this really cool bond with uh, Beth's parents. You know, they're of course both grieving. But then one night just kind of changes everything and Beth just rises from the grave and ends up back home and of course the parents are trying to keep her a secret and not tell anybody because like how are they going to explain their dead child now walking amongst them and now the boyfriend is very smart because he's all like she's a zombie and the parents are like no 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 no, she has resurrected she's a miracle it has its funny moments to it i don't think it's like me slapping funny but it does have some um pretty like haha -ha kind of moments there so you can kind of think about this movie like warm bodies which came out like a year prior to this but like in reverse yes like in reverse you know in warm bodies remember it was like zombie zombie all kind of something kind of like clicked and then they were kind of going back into their humanity so like something in their heart i went like this click was actually something in their heart that was just making them you know like non-zombie killing machines kind of deal but this is in reverse they start off you know they don't even know that they're dead you know they're just kind of really pellish and then i don't know why they kind of get mood swings or whatever and they really like to live in the attic and like dirt and things like that before they come into like that rah rah zombie stuff i will give it that it, it is a little bit unique-ish zombie deal and i don't really wouldn't even consider this a horror movie to be honest it's more like um horror i guess a horror ish romantic movie so you know what this is a movie that you can watch not only during halloween time with your loved one but also during valentine's day with your loved one especially like if you're really into horror movies this could be something that you could possibly uh add in the mix because there is a lot of like romance happening there zombie movies are one of my favorites and this just didn't have the full-on zombie effect that i wanted it to have i mean we eventually kind of get to it there at the end but it just took too long for me like i want like guts and blood and like eating it like running for your life type of deal but i get it it's like different right it's like a humanity type of death that are coming and then slowly you get into that whole like zombie killing machine like brainless and like I want I'm hungry and I want your flesh type of deal it does take a uh, pretty much like the whole movie we really don't get like that big zombie deal towards maybe like the last I would say 20 30 minutes of the movie maybe even less time it was really just people that were already dead coming from the grave walking amongst them and then they became zombies and it's not a zombie movie that i personally will be adding to the rotation of zombie films not one that i would particularly recommend unless you're really not into like blood guts and gore full-on zombie stuff um if you're not into that but you're kind of like maybe i kind of want to give zombie movies a, an opportunity then this would be it because again you see that towards the end but at that it's not like walking dead line of the living dead you know 28 days later train to busan zombie killing and stuff like that even like the zombies themselves like they don't look all kind of crazy um audrey plaza did a really good job as beth i think she um i i she's hit or miss for me before i do give you my score if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. That way you don't miss uh, the remaining, what is it, 11 days of fright. And with that said, I'm going to give Life with Beth a small popcorn. If you've seen this movie, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Did you see Warm Bodies? Personally, I liked Warm Bodies over this one. Even though I haven't seen Warm Bodies in a long time. I think I've only seen it twice. 
but I definitely do remember enjoying that movie way more than this but I haven't seen it since it came out years ago well since 2013 and I think yeah so I don't know how how I would feel about it now all right guys that is it for me tonight I'll see you guys tomorrow bye